Why your voice, my guy? So. Ugh. Yes! Oh my God! I'm living in yeah. Oh, I'm sitting in this shit. Tired of giving in yeah. Oh, I've been killing all day six. Tired of fitting in yeah. Oh, oh, I've been tripping on this stress. Tired of getting hit yeah. Oh, now I'm hitting on this bitch. What's going on, case. Did an album review. Uh, well, I actually did one recently. I did one for uh, D2 from August D. Shout out to Yugi. But uh, I love Stray Kids. I love their music. I admittedly do not. Um, I'm not like. I'm not like. I don't watch all their like behind the scenes videos. I'm not like super. I don't know all their personalities. I'm more like a, a music stan. Like I'm not. I, I don't know enough about the group to be like a full stan. But their music. I listen to their music so much. I think that's important. Right? I mean, number one, as a fan, I think you gotta enjoy their music. So, uh, I I'm gonna listen to their new album today, Go Live. This is their first, like, full, full album. Everything else has been, like, mini albums. Uh, mini albums that are, like, eight tracks, nine tracks long. So, they've given us so many good songs over the last couple years since they debut. And since they debut, uh, even with, like, the pre-debut with Elevator, I knew this group was gonna be special, bro. I knew, and listening to Three Racha, uh, everything... Everything about them scream like superstars. Their music is like perfectly suited to my ears. It's like such a style of music that I love. They incorporate a, a bunch of different genres, but it's mostly kind of hip hop and it's very fierce. And I freaking love them. I really think their music is outstanding. And they're probably my favorite group to ever come out of JYP. Like they're so good. So when I heard they dropped a new album, I was like, I gotta do an album review. I gotta do a first listen. Uh, Cause you know, I think it'll be fun. I'm very excited for the album. I watched the music video for God's Menu. Oh my. Oh my god, that was really incredible music video too. I think uh, me smells a dub coming. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make a dub for that one. It, it was so good. I really liked it. Uh, but today we are uh, reviewing the album, listening to the album together. I'm sure you've probably listened already, but uh, if you're if you've already listened and you're here to join me uh, in this listen, uh, thank you for taking time out of your day. That's very sweet. Before we start the video, I just want to say follow me on Twitch. I Twitch there every Wednesday, Friday. I can't speak. Every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. I was gonna say Friday. I love Friday. For <laughs> Let's just start the video. Anyway, go follow me on Twitch because it's really fun. We have a good time over there. Let's listen! Okay, this first song is called Go Live. This is the name of their album as well, so it turns up a bit. It's hype already. It's hype already. Hey, hey. I love the hi hats. So hype. Hey, this is getting me hyped up. This is like a this is a perfect intro. It's getting you a little bit hype. That's one thing about Stray Kids, their, their rap line, their rappers are so good, bro. Eee, I love the hi-hats, bro. So good. Mmm. Go, go, go. This one's God's Menu. I've heard this one because I watched the music video, but we're going to listen again. So hype, so hype, so hype. Go the fuck in, my guy. Go in. Oh, the way the- Ah! So right here, they're just using like snares and hi-hats and he's just rapping and then when the beat comes So good. That's pretty basic in production when you just kind of use the hi-hats or, or, or just the snare or use them together and then you bring the 808s in, you bring that big bass when you hit the beat, when you're rapping, it sounds so good. God damn, that's so hard. That's so hard. That's so hard. So good. It's so good. It's so good. Bro, Felix here. Mwah. You are a chef. Mwah. This beat is so hard. Did Bang Chan make this beat? Who made this beat? It's so good. It's such a good beat. And I love the pre chorus. They have a very distinct style of music that they have. They always bring pianos in for the pre chorus to kind of give it like a lighter feel. Very emotional, kinda. And then they come in with a chorus, and the chorus is always like, boom! Oh, I thought it was about to go in. Why your voice, my guy? So, ugh. The way they brought the gunshot to the doo doo doo! God damn. Alright, this one's called Easy. Oh, okay! The beat just came in out of nowhere. Why are they so good at rapping? They're so good. No one flows on a beat like Stray Kids, bro. Like the way they maneuver around the beat. Ah! Their beats are always so good. They have like such. 
The production's always so good. It's oh, oh, that bass, that bass sounds so good. Oh, it's so good. That's so good. I don't know what that noise is in the background. Some sort of, it's like a chime, but it's so good. It's like a super high key p electric piano. Changbin gotta chill, my guy. Yo, this is such a good hip hop song. <laughs> this song, I like this song even more than God's Menu. This, this song is really good. Oh, this song is really good. This song is really good. I can't get over that, that instrument in the background. So good. Oh. My favorite, this might be my favorite Stray Kids song, bro. Before it was Voices, right now. I fucking love this song. And the bass they chose in this song is just like so like dark and hype and like gets you so hype. Oh, and then we got a little dubstep dance break. I can definitely see them performing this song. Who the fuck made this beat? Cause oh my god, the production on this beat is Mwah! Yo, the production on that beat was insane. They're rapping insane. The way they auto-tune there, oh my god. This one's just like a bass line at the start. Is it gonna be hype again, bro? Is this whole... Is this whole thing gonna be hype? Like, I'm gonna have to change shirts. This beat is fun as well. It's a very fun beat. This is like a, a beat that you'd hear in like the club. Like it's very like... You just kind of you just want to shake your I can't get my ass that high, but you want to shake your ass, shake your big ass to this song. Oh! They brought in this like '80s piano synth in the background. It is a very nice touch. It's so good. Oh, I love this part. Na na na. I love that instrument in the background. I love it. Hey, it's such a nice touch. They keep adding little tiny instruments in the background, like high synths or piano keys, and it's like such a nice touch. Oh, the little, that like retro piano in the background, so good. Hey, I'm fucking with this bridge, yo. Okay, that song slapped so hard. Every song's been really good. Like, really good. This one's Airplane. This is the first one that's like kind of chill. The first four songs were like, Whoa! I expect Airplane to be a song where it kind of is floating around. Oh, God damn! Hey, I like the little piano they put there. Hey, hey. If I was to describe this song, it'd be like groovy, groovy hip hop. Kind of sounds like a PH1 song. And if any of you guys listen to PH1, kind of sounds like a song he would make. Very like smooth hip hop. Feel like you're kind of riding wavy, like you're on an airplane. I love that part so much. The bridge is very soothing. My hands are up, bro. This sounds like a song you would play while you're like on the beach with your friends or driving around in the summer. Very like cool, refreshing, just chill song. I like it. I like that song. Served its purpose well. It was very chill, very cool. Uh, I couldn't do another like super hype again. I need a little break, you know? And now we got like an actual slow, slow song. Just a guitar. Just a guitar for now. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, hit me with them vocals, boys. I need a little, I need a little vocal serenade. Ooh, his voice there was so good. Ooh, harmonies in the background. Here comes the drum. Oh yeah, Papa New. Very light drum, very chill. It just sounds like a song you would sing by the campfire. With your boys. With your boys. <laughs> Whenever Felix comes in, it's like, Jesus Christ. He's hitting the lowest subwoofer of my, of my 
my speakers. His his voice is literally just a bass. <laughs> this song sounds very pretty. Uh, I am definitely going to look up the lyrics to this song afterwards. Korean groups, like uh, K-pop especially, usually there's like one kind of ballad type song uh, that's slower, focuses on just vocals, very chill. Uh, and yeah, sometimes I'm not a huge fan uh, of how they do it. It seems forced sometimes, but like this song's really chill, really cool, really suits the vibe. Uh, I really like it. It's very chill. It sounds like what you'd listen to at the beach, but at night. You know what I mean? Very cool. Under the stars. It's called Phobia. It's hype. We're hype again. We got the chill, we got the slow, and now we're like, whoa! It sounds, it sounds good already, though. I'm ready to get hype. Oh, I didn't expect the, the heart. I did not expect the quick drums. Hey! Hey, yo, this beat's good. This beat's hype. They always find the best instruments to use in their pre-chorus to make it sound emotional and good and hype it up. They have a very distinct formula for their songs. And at some times you think it might get a little like repetitive, but they do a great job of switching up how they actually do uh, their beats. Like it's very, uh, like you can tell the similarities in the beats of the hype songs but they do different things every time to mix it up. It doesn't become like repetitive. And this part is so good. This part is so good. Their rappers are so good at rapping. Just incredible at rapping. Hey, they're so good. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, but see in this chorus, they slowed the beat down. They're, they do a great job of making, a lot of times in K-pop, a lot of times in K-pop, Groups try to make hype songs like this, and it sounds like hype, but a lot of times it just sounds like noise. They do a great job of connecting a lot of emotion uh, to their hype songs, so it doesn't just feel like a loud, bright, exciting song just for no reason. It feels like there's a meaning behind all their music, uh, and they do a great job of doing that through the beat and through their singing and rapping. It's really good. That high note, bro, in the background? I wonder what the phobia was. I'm gonna need to lead, read those lyrics as well. I don't know what phobia they're talking about. Ooh. Oh, this is a very interesting start. It sounds like an M81 song so far, MGMT. Oh! Oh, I like that. Oh, this sounds really good. This is a total switch up from the type of music they've kind of been doing so far. It's very like funky, very funky like. Oh, there it is. That's Stray Kids right there. Oh, yo, that. Oh, y'all kicking over this beat. Yo, the the way that they flipped into that part of the beat and then went back. We gotta listen to that again. This just sounds like so easy going and like just like a very simple like Bruno Mars type beat. Like, but the way the transition goes into the, like like a trap beat, so good. Ready, ready. Oh, god damn. God damn, the transition is so tight. That was an incredible start. As someone who produces music as well, I think listening to Stray Kids is my favorite because like the production of their beats, so good. God damn, his voice is so good. Then we're back to this beat. We're back to this beat. Let's go. I fucking love this song. This song might be my favorite so far. Even more than easy. This beat is so fun! He has a great job of like rapping, but screaming, but singing, but making it sound really good. I don't know how to explain it. Oh! This beat is so fun and they're like doing so well on it. Oh! This, this beat is so good. Very retro pop. But the transition! Can we talk about the... And that part too, the screaming, but it sounds so good. This is a pretty great album so far. I can't, I can't, I can't lie. It's really good. Fuck me, I love this beat. It's so simple, just like a one, two, one, two, one, two. But it's so good. Simple is great sometimes. And the way they cut their beats too, they're so good at cutting beats and then just leaving like hi-hat noises and like 
I don't know how to explain it, but their transition between like different beats within the song always so good. It's the high vocals. I fucking love this song, bro. This is my favorite song for sure. Even more than Easy, and I love Easy. The the harmonies they're doing too. This song is so fun. It makes me feel so happy inside. Like my heart is so happy right now. It's such a fun song. Fuck me, that's a great song. That is a great song. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a great song. It's called TA or TA. <laughs> I don't know which. It's fucking hype as well. Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm sweating, literally. This one sounds more like classic Stray Kids. Like you're about to start a revolution. God damn. This, this, yeah, it's just like a lot of. There's a lot happening. Oh my god, I thought we were gonna get a break in there. Like, nope. Oh, it is called Ta. Ta Ta Ta. It sounds like you'd be like running through a jungle in like a chase scene. Jesus Christ, this song is like a lot. It's so much happening. It's like it's like it's like if you put a song on like hyperdrive. I like this part. I like this part a lot. There's just like this one, I like it, but there's just like so much noise. There's so much happening within the beat. There's so much like yelling. It's like so like there's a lot. It'd be very fun at like a rave. Be right fun at like a rave or a club. You'd be like going crazy. Like it feels like there's not enough room in this song to kind of breathe, to have like its best moments. It just feels like three minutes of like noise. This definitely sounds like a chase scene in a movie. That's probably my least favorite so far. It was still pretty good though. Just a lot of noise. I thought the song could have could have let the song breathe a bit more. You know, a few a few beat cuts here and there. This is called Heaven. Or Haven, not Heaven. Haven. Okay. His voice sounds really good. Very good. Oh! I like the build up here. I know it's a verse, but it's like, feels like it's building up. Big drop. No. They tricked me. I thought a big drop was coming. Oh. This is just like a fun song. I like the way they tricked me there. I like being tricked in a song. I like when I know I like when I don't know what's about to happen. Never mind, this one sounds like if you're at a club or at a party. It feels like a song you dance to at a campfire, maybe. I really like the beat during the verses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah! That oh. Whenever they transition to like a trap beat, really well done every time it's so good. Oh, that voice though! I like this part. Just the guitar. Damn, damn. It sounds very like 2014 K pop. This part. And that's not a bad thing. It's just like. Oh, I like this part. I like this part. Just take out the beat, leave the claps, and then hype up, and then bring in the beat at the end, baby. Bring in that beat at the end. Fucking good song, this is. Good song. I wasn't sure. At the start, I thought, oh! Turned out to be a great song. Right, that was a good one. That was a good one, folks. We only have four left. This is Top. Top, AKA Tower of God OP. Another very hype beat. Very hype. Oh, they're going heavy on the synth drivers. They're going heavy. They're doubling them up. They got a little electric guitar in the background too. I like that. I like that. Oh, that, that high vocal. This drop is so weird. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. It's very like techno-y. Very techno trance. Circa 2007 type sound. But they kind of mix it in with like current, like uh, current trap, electronic. It's a lot of hype. It's a lot of hype. It's a very hype song. I feel like I need a couple more slow songs. But I know their style is a lot more hype. But when they do slow songs, it's like so good. I think they do it really w well, very raw and passionately. So I'd love for a few like slower songs coming up. Like this hype, this is hype, it's good. But earlier when I was saying, oh, it's not that repetitive. Now it's becoming a teeny tiny bit repetitive. Though the beats are different. The concept is very uh, much the same. And you know, I think an album needs some like peaks and valleys. I like this part though, the slow down part. Very good. Felix! It's 
such an interesting choice for the beat, uh, the drop, but I like it. What I'm, what I'm saying with the whole, like it's a lot of hype songs, which is good. They do hype songs really well. And like I was saying earlier, it, it, it wasn't repetitive before, but now it's like a tiny bit repetitive. Like, like the themes are, the, the beats are different with each song, but like the concepts for, for the songs are pretty much the same. You know what I mean? Very like hype opening verse, hype, 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 hype. And then you go into the, you cut the beat out, you bring in the piano or some lighter instruments for the pre-chorus. Then you go, da -da 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 -da, hype, 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 bam, here comes the chorus. Din -din 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 -din. You go into the second verse, same as the first verse, hype. Yeah, hype, but then there's a transition into a trap beat or a slower beat, switch it up, switch it up, go back to the uh, pre-chorus, cut out all the beat, cut out the whole beat, just leave the light instruments, but then you hype it up, hype it up, hype it up, bam, big chorus, and then you go to the bridge, and then you slow it down again, bring in a few extra instruments, you leave maybe the snare, you leave a hi-hat, and then you hype it up, hype it up, big chorus, extra vocals, and that's pretty much a concept of how these hype songs usually are. Uh, they usually do a good job of chopping up the beat and uh, switching up the beats enough where it's not really repetitive But I think by like the 10th 11th song uh, right now It's become a little bit repetitive of like the hypeness and the way they're doing it uh, It's still really good. The song's really good But I think as a whole construct of an album I think like truly like great albums have very good peaks and valleys of uh, Different kind of types of songs, but also I understand there's there's set themes and set set themes and set uh, genres of how uh, certain groups make music. And this is very, they do, the, the genre they do best is these, are these very hype, uh, hip hop, trap, electronic, uh, kind of revolutionary sounding songs. Uh, and they're very good. Uh, but like I said, just my honest opinion, I'd love a few more peaks and valleys, you know, a few uh, slower songs. Cause I think they do the slower songs really well done. They're not like traditional slower songs when they do them. Uh, they do it very, very much in their own way. And it's very good. So uh, there's three songs left. Let's keep listening. It's called Slump. Yeah, whenever they use guitars, it's really good as well. They should use more guitar sounds. Very uh, punk rock, punk rock drums. They also use auto-tune really well. It's very light on their voices, but it kind of brings out the flair in their voices. It's really good, especially the rappers. Like that, the, the auto-tune they're using on the vocal right here sounds so good. Such a great effect. See, this is like a slower song for Stray Kids, and I love it. I love it. They do it so well. It's not a traditional slower song, but it's like these vocals are so good, and the beat is so good. Songs like this, I really love from them. I think they should add more into their album. Like, it's still pretty hype, but it's very low key. They're so good at rapping. I know I said that like 10 times, but they're so good at rapping. Like, this one's so good. The auto tune, like, it's so good. The vocals here are so good, truly. Like it's such a great effect on their voice, it just adds perfectly to the song. And then when they bring the electric guitar in the chorus to complement the drums and the other guitar, it's all just so good. The song's all already over. They said, fuck a bridge, bro, we don't need a bridge. That was so good though, I love that song. I love that song. This is Gone Days. I've heard this song, I will listen again. Really like this song though. Like, this is what I mean. Like, it's, it's kind of slow paced for them, and it's so good. I just love it. I just love the way they rap. They have such a great style of rapping between all the rappers, and it's so good. That little in the background. The way they're mixing their raw vocals with the auto-tune vocals. So good. The beat there is so good. The way they hesitated from coming in, and it comes in on his like, Radon's vocal lines. One thing I wish, I wish Felix had a few more uh, parts in, in songs that weren't just the bridge. Cause they bring his voice in on the bridge cause it's such a good mix up. The beat is taken out usually. It's just the instruments, and his voice sounds so good. It's like a nat you don't need a bass or like a, a, a 808 drum when he's speaking because his his voice is the bass. But I wish he had a few more uh, natural like rapping parts within songs. Uh, just a little wish for me. This is the last song called On Track, and I'm pretty sure. Oh, I've heard this song. Yes, I've heard this song before, but I don't really remember it as much. Oh, it's slow. Yeah, Cam got his wish. A couple more slow songs. But you see what I mean? They do it so well, the slow songs. Like, 
I'm glad they incorporated a lot more at the end. Cause it's so good. They do it so well. I love that. Yeah. So good. This one also just like so chill and vibey and you feel like you're just like floating on air. Wavy. It's just so nice. I like that. I like that. They brought in the super uh, high vocals when they brought in the piano. They have this like airy pad in the background. This airy, airy pad. It's like a synth pad. And it just adds like some flavor in the background. It sounds like there's just like, it sounds like if, if air and wind was a noise. And they add it in their song sometimes to give it like some extra noise. And it, it's literally why sometimes when you listen to these types of songs, it sounds like you're floating. Because they're using such like an, this airy pad. It sounds weird when I say airy pad, but that's what it is. They use so many little instruments in the background of their production that like tie the song together so well. I like all their voices together. Oh yeah! What a beautiful way to end an album. What a beautiful song. I forgot, I forgot about this song. It's very good. God damn, Stray Kids! They fucking, they just did that, didn't they? That's it, we finished the album. Good job. Good job for you for sticking with me if you still are here. If you left, then fuck you. It's okay, they're not here to listen, but fuck you. Yeah, uh, favorite songs would have to be Slump, Easy, and Blueprint. Those are my top three favorite songs. Blueprint was my favorite though. <gasps> that song was so good. But those are my top three for sure. Least favorite song, uh, Ta, was that it? I think it was Ta. The one that was just like a lot of noise. Or was that Haven? Or that was Top, Tower of God. That was Top. Top was the one. I didn't like that one so much. But I think that was the only one I didn't really like. Like, the other 13 songs, like, I pretty much like. And a lot of them I loved. Uh, it was very good. I would have loved if they mixed in, they kind of threw a lot of those slow songs uh, near the end. Which I get, a lot of times people do that, they put slower songs near the end because it's kind of like, that's how it goes, you get hype, hype, slower. But I'd love it, they're like, hype, hype, slow, 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 hype, 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 slow, slow, slow. But to each their own. Uh, uh, it was, other than where I would have placed the songs, I thought it was a really good album. I thought it was really good. Uh, their production is amazing. This Bang Chan produced most of their songs, right? Uh, fucking amazing. The production on their music only gets better with time. It was already amazing from the start. The fact that I remember Bang Chan, that he was producing like all the all the songs when they first started in pre-debut and stuff. And I was like so impressed. I was like, this dude's amazing. And whoever's doing this production, it's so good. It is really, really well done. There's uh, a lot of intricate sounds and a lot of like extra instruments that you really have to listen. Uh, but they tie everything together so well. Very good. They have such a, Stray Kids have a very distinct sound. They have a very distinct, a lot of times in K-pop, people get lost in the same genre. You listen to K-pop and you're like, well, that's K-pop. And that's fine. Like, K -pop, it's K-pop, Korean pop music. You're like, oh, that's K-pop. But we listen to them. It's a very much, uh, very distinct, very, uh, very, uh, applies only to them, the sound that they, they create. They've created such a distinct sound. And I fucking love it, honestly. It's really good. And uh, that was really good. I hope you guys enjoyed listening with me. Uh, there's my review, first listen. Stray Kids, amazing job. They're, they're amazing. Uh, I'm gonna continue to support them and listen to their music. And yeah, thanks for hanging out. Have yourselves a beautiful, wonderful day. Go vegan, be nice to each other, and uh, please go check out the links in the description uh, for ways that you can help out with a lot of different things. So yeah, go check those out and have yourselves a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. I've been living in, yeah, uh, I've been sitting in this shit, tired of giving in, yeah, uh, I've been killing all this sex, tired of fitting in, yeah, uh, uh, I've been tripping on this dress, tired